Mag been in Iraq uh, since uh, 1992 and uh, I've been working with Mag uh, since the beginning in, in Iraq. The level of contamination of mines, improvised landmines and booby traps are from the early days. There are layers over the layers from the very beginning. From Iran-Iraq war, then first Gulf War, second Gulf War and then the last one and then Daesh war here. All these areas been affected badly. This is an example of one of the victim operated improvised landmines. The pressure plate been laid here under the ground when the grass is growing. The wire going inside through this drainage hole and the shell was under that satellite dish hidden. They put it there because this is a very thin concrete wall about 10 centimeters. If the shell go off this wall become part of the fragmentation and kill people. Unfortunately and sadly 10 people have died when they try to return home due to the presence of improvised landmines and booby traps and another five got injured only in this village. Two brothers and one cousin with them, they stepped on in an improvised landmine and all three have died here. People who have been displaced in the towns and IDP camps, they are returning home. About a month ago we arrived at this village. On our arrival we found out that 43 families live in, in a fear. So we started the clearance from where the families are living and those tasks have been achieved. By saving people's lives, giving the land back, they can come back and continue rebuilding their future in their village and restart their life here.